NVIDIA Blackwell. Where do I begin? Because while we are getting a clearer picture of what NVIDIA's next generation of graphics cards will look like, at the same time, I don't think I want to because it's kind of scary stuff. But we'll get to the scariest part in a second. First, let's address the newest leak has come out about these brand new RTX 5 thousand graphics card and that is the GPUs powering them and more specifically the fact that the AD104 GPU that has been previously powering the likes of the RTX 4080, 4070 Ti and 4070 won't have a success of Nvidia Blackwell which means that these higher end SKUs could all be using a step down chip instead because naturally the highest end GPU will be reserved for the 1590 and 1590 Ti if a 1590 Ti is even feasible without it literally burning down someone's house. In the meantime, these mid-range SKUs may be forced to share the smaller and most likely less powerful GB205 chip and kind of in the middle of saying that I kind of stopped caring. Because let's be honest, you do not care. You do not care what class of GPU powers your graphics card. Even I don't care about any of this stuff. And it's literally my job to care. As long as it goes fast, whatever NVIDIA calls a GPU really doesn't matter to most people out there. Even enthusiasts don't really care. But frankly, this isn't the most exciting news has come out about NVIDIA Blackwell in recent weeks. And the far more concerning one is that these brand new graphics cards are set to launch in 2025 at the earliest. That's right, 2025! I'll probably be like retired by then. So this could be one of the longest NVIDIA generations ever. And it isn't helped by the fact that the production of RTX 40 series graphics cards has pretty much ground to a halt. So that stock we have right now has to last us at least a year and a half, if not more. Yeah, this ain't looking too bright. But hopefully the wait will be worth it. I mean, seeing how much time they have to perfect this brand new architecture and seeing how it will be most likely based on TSMC's 3 nanometer process. Or we could all just start in a global war by then anyway and we won't even get to enjoy it. So, you know, it's a 50-50. But is NVIDIA stretching out this generation so long a good thing or a bad thing? Let me know what you think down in the comments below. And while you're still here, maybe also check out our Patreon. Plus also huge thanks to my existing patrons, Gavin Burns, OKB, okay, Justin Rage, Eleronyak, Valosh Volker, Mech Sumner, Shane Allcroft, Lansby, and Level Up. But anyway, that's how it's. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then remember to subscribe, like, whatever, and I'll see you all whenever I make next. Goodbye, everyone. Good. Bye.